Yo, what is good, my anime people? It is, unfortunately, another ending of an amazing show. And, man, was this a hard pill to swallow. Whew. So, with our golden boy, I was going to make a golden outfit, but the color on this game is absolutely garbage when it comes down to looking for a color that isn't easy to make and gold is not an easy color to make so unfortunately i couldn't get us the golden boy but that power of his is absolutely ridiculous to think that it's only a fifth of what it is he was putting out mind you the guy was still draining power from others and getting ridiculously strong with that sword and he was already powered up by the demon who was slain as well so there's just power on power on power and our main character absolutely destroys him with just his arm because it looks like he needs no blades anymore um if he's in that transformation his blade is his body because that's where all the energy is actually going and to know that just makes it that much more clear why he is a deadly uh threat to the rest of these people trying to make this big move of obtaining the obsidian obsidian goddess and because our main character exists the way that he is there's not a whole lot anyone is going to be able to do if he continues to tap into that power so i honestly look forward to that i honestly look forward to him doing that but the season or the part is over and i mean i'm guessing season two is happening now since season two wasn't this it was just part two of season of season one <laughs> So now that we can probably get season two, it looks like the five generals are the actual end game of that uh, season, or at least like that's what the goal is in general. I'm pretty sure by the end of the second season, we should not have like met all five generals type of deal. So we'll have to see exactly what they bring to the table and being how they are the five great generals i wouldn't be surprised if they are just as crazy if not hard-headed like this yellow uh general or maybe he's just a special breed maybe the other five generals are much easier to deal with but to talk more upon the sad stuff seeing this girl who knew nothing but wanting to impress her father being uh killed off even though you know, she could have died, I guess, sooner. <sighs> it's kind of sad that she just didn't become part of the... Like, we could have four people in our group, and I think that would have been ridiculously sick compared to just having the three of them. But regardless, I am enjoying it nonetheless. I just hope that once we see more of the potential of this show we'll start to get a better understanding of just what the obsidian goddess power is going to be like if he keeps continuing to get the blood uh, to get the blood and be able to use one finger and block stuff but outside of the sad stuff like you know her passing away after time and you know being the false obsidian goddess i guess was just too much wear and tear on that body the craziest thing that comes out of this is not even the information about the father and how important he could be back in the day when he was noticed by one of the great generals uh to be putting his signature on paper and not just in a temporary um alliance type of deal but we see that the maniacs the other eight crazy stark users or like just the evil people the evil gender uh evil organization has taken the dude with the glasses that didn't really seem to show all that much promise right like i don't know if it's their thing that they need to just like 
get a hold of someone so they hope that everybody focuses their attention on that character to make sure they rescue him type deal but it feels like because of the way they took him no one has any idea outside of the people that are actually there um, other characters have already left on their journeys uh, that worked with him so I was hoping that they would be one of the first people to hear about that and actually want to figure it out like where the heck he's gone but because it's at the end credit scenes like we are left to just wonder what plot thread uh, they'll use for that will he actually be saved are they going to transform him into one of those members like themselves to the point where they all like to uh you know see how far someone can go even if they aren't that strong not to mention um if you want power that might be the only reason why that group of people exists they're just power hungry people and this guy with the glasses is pretty power hungry and they might have sensed that want and need for power so overall i will definitely talk to you all in the next one thank you so much for your support and i hope you have a good day on my birthday <laughs> take care everybody drop a like subscribe to each of the videos and if you do drop a comment i'll be the first one to get back to you so take care and peace